welkom to our series on Geert, being Geert. My name is Rulof Groveer and this week we are talking about being Geert in your spirit. Uh, so important topic and um, today especially I want to talk on the one thing that can gear your spirit and keep it moving but it can also stop you. And I want to read for us two verses in 1st Thessalonians, Thessalonians 5 verse 18 and 19. Listen what it says. Give thanks in all circumstances for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Verse 19. Do not quench the spirit. If you don't want to quench your spirit Give thanks in all circumstances. But when we complain, we actually quench the Holy Spirit and the Spirit in us. If we want to be geared in our spirit for movement, if we want to be geared for life, if we want to be geared for difficult circumstances, this is a verse, this is something that we really need to take to heart. We need to realize that in all things, we need to be thankful. Give thanks in all circumstances. Then you will be geared in your spirit with the necessary power to move forward. Otherwise, you will quench the spirit and you will undermine your ability to move and to face difficult circumstances. Let us make thankfulness a normal part of our everyday living. And let's glorify God in that. Let's pray together. Dear Lord Jesus, I realize we live in times where thankfulness sometimes seems like a reality that we just cannot get to. But I pray that your spirit will fill our hearts and help us to live with thanksgiving every day and to honor you in everything. That I pray in Jesus' name. Bless each one. Amen. Thank you that you tuned in. God bless you and may you have a thankful and an awesome day. Geared in your spirit. Bye-bye.